Just charge them a batteries. I got two of them. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back. Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 Main. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. Happy holidays, everybody in America for Labor Day. All kinds of fun stuff. Last weekend of summer, baby. Well, it's not the last weekend, technically, in the uh, scope of the actual three months of summer that it is. 21st of September is the last day of summer, technically, if you want to get technical about it. But if it's the last uh, weekend, let's really get down and party. I'm going to be down in Cape May. Possibly. It's going to be a good time. Going on vacation. But... I've got a new car for you, everybody. And it's a doozy. And it requires some explanation. I'm just going to take the right tail out of it. This is an Aston Martin Vulcan. I uh, had to uh, take the config file so that I could find it in the junkyard so we could do a full restoration of it. But here's the thing. It's super expensive. It's made by Bob. <laughs> and Bob is someone who frequents the uh, modder section. Uh, not just the modern section, but uh, everywhere in our Discord channel. Link is in the description down below if you want to join it. Um, he made it, and he made it like true to form, to where it's expensive. It's super expensive. In real life, and in the game. So, if you were to find this in... Well, if you were, I found this in the junkyard after about an hour. And the... Uh, the price of it was $450,000 to take it out of the junkyard. As you can see in the top right, I have $2.1 million. Bob told me, he's like, listen, you're going to have to cheat this in. Otherwise, like, you're going to have to cheat some cash into you. You're going to have an influx of cash. So, I got a bunch of cash. I influxed it to myself. But after I get done with this, I promise, I promise, I promise, I'm going to put it back down to where it was at the end of our last video, which was $459,147. Uh, 459, but I'm an Aston Martin freak. I enjoy Aston Martins. I'm not about to pass this one up. So what I have to do is we took that out of the junkyard for $458,000. But the problem is that this has a W12 engine. W12 engines are not in the game. So there's no parts for them in the shop. So what I had to do is actually buy it outright at the car salon. Now the price for this car at the car salon is $3.5 million. <laughs> It's all made out of carbon fiber. It's super fast once we get it all worked up. So, purchased that car, sold it back, took the engine out, and all the parts for W12 that I couldn't purchase. And I have them in my belly right now. You can't see them. They're in my, they're in my belly warehouse. They're in my belly warehouse. And we're going to rebuild the W12 engine in the Diesel Designs custom banner shop. <laughs> and then we're going to pla uh, plant it back in here, put on the body pieces, which are added to the parts section in the uh, website, and uh, add uh, the seats, and do it up all kinds of pretty like and take it for a spin. What do you say? What do you say? Good? Good. All right. Enough explanation. No more talky-talky. Talky-talky, no more talky. All right. So, W12 engine. Now, this is mainly, as you can see, for the W12, there's a Bentley logo brand Bentley because the uh, Bentley DLC will probably have well, if it was anything that's like uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 it should have nothing but W12 engines in them and that's all kinds of fun for everyone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now I've had to strip down the original engine from the car that I purchased so as far as repairing the parts yeah do it this way um, so I had to take out the engine, put it on the uh, stand here, strip it down, and then take the engine out of our car over here, strip that down. The only reason why I ha didn't uh, take apart the engine in front of you guys was because it bugged out to the point where I couldn't actually spin. I couldn't spin the, uh, the stand here. Couldn't spin it around. I could spin this around. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I couldn't do that. But, um, so it kind of like got buggy, so I decided to like just let it, let it be for the time being. So that this way I could just rebuild the engine and show you what the W12 engines look like. Oh no, there's no pistons, oh no, I forgot to buy pistons, oh no. Oh no, don't do it, y'all's gonna get sick. Uh, Pistons with Connors. Really, like, that's weird. Gonna need 12 of them. So you're just buying 8 of them. Boom. Thought I had taken out all the pieces. 
but I guess not. Okay, can we? There we go. It's so bright. No, I don't want to put that on there. I already put that on there. Hold on. <laughs> the lights. The lights she blinded me. Uh, let's see here. I was gonna say like the pistons. I have a feeling that we're gonna have at least we're gonna like run into some sort of roadblock with this. I have a feeling, but you know what? Dare to dream. You gotta try. No try. Only do. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's put on the engine head. And we'll put on some spark plugs. Sparky. This side is always the worst because that the light shines directly onto this, and it reflects the reflections on this game. Or something all kinds of stupid. Anyone who's played this game knows what I'm talking about, baby. Like, hey man. Can we get the shine down? Not like the band Shine Down, which is a dope band. Shout out to Shine Down. I think they watch my channel. I may have that kind of spread. I don't think I do though. So all the timing belts, all the timing chains, everything about the engine I've taken off of the original Aston Martin. So that, that way we can have the parts to show you what it's going to look like in the end, my friend. Ah, and the good old W12 engines with all the lovely, lovely camshaft caps and, oh, turbocharger, W12 turbochargers. Boom. This thing can be super duper fast. This is not going to be super duper fast, though. This is going to be super duper annoying. Almost as annoying as, annoying as you, Diesel. Oh, we got jokes. This guy, everyone. This guy's got jokes. Good for him. Good for him with, the, with all your jokes. But these are the worst. I'll take push rods, valve push rods, all day over these. Gotta bolt in every single thing. Gotta bolt it in. It's gonna be fine. But I'll tell you what, man. As of Martin, the Vulcan, when he, uh, when Bob told me that he was doing it, or this is pain. When he told me he was doing it, I was like, oh, it's going to look so pretty. And he's like, yeah, you're going to have to spend a lot of money to get it. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no, I don't want to spend my money. I don't want to do that, y'all. But I did it anyway. This is going to be mine. I'm not going to sell this so that that way we don't have to worry about the kind of cash. It's gonna roll roll through here, but uh, definitely gonna keep it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Grab those ignition coils. All everything I've done. Any kind of like extra parts that I have here, they've either been pre-purchased <clears throat> or the uh, well, this has pretty much been taken off of the original engine because, like I said, most of the parts can't really be bought, but these parts can. Well, not this part, because it's W12. Anything that says W12 cannot be purchased in the store. As of yet. Until they add it in the game. Okay. Pistions. Hold on, let's just put that belt tension on there, otherwise it's going to bug me. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Banging out. Oh yeah, you're gonna look so pretty. You're gonna be so pretty, you don't even know. Beautiful. Let's screw it in with a grin, yo. Tab charger. Yeah, this entire car was a complete rust bucket, and then when I saw that it was going to cost five hundred, it was uh, five. It was like four hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars. Four hundred fifty-eight, something along those lines. It was something stupid. Normally, those cars, especially with the uh, the modded cars, the modded cars are stupid cheap. I don't know if there's something that they. Well, obviously, there's something that can be done in some sort of config file to have it uh, come out as. Like a larger price, but to be honest with you, they're all, they're pretty much like 
you know, standard. Like, that's like the Fiat, for instance. If I were to purchase a Fiat from some modded Fiat and purchase that, it's going to cost me like two grand in the junkyard, which doesn't seem like unreasonable because they're always just awful. Like the, the rust bucket that you pick up. And then when you put it all together and sell it, it sells for like, I think it's like $34,000. That's nothing too crazy. So it's comparable to maybe what an actual price is. Now, of course, I'm not really sure what the going market is for a Fiat. Or for the cars at the time. But I do know that it's a roundabout, so like it's not too off the mark. But this car. I was like, oh my. I, I think I actually, when I saw it, I farted. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. My, my insides were like, what? Huh? That's a lot of money. Quick, someone got a two. Boom. Alright. And we are almost done putting together the engine. Hey, I got bars. So, put the ignition coil here. Ignition coil here. Ignition coil here. Here. And here. Let's put on the manifold W12. Guess we should put the uh, rest of the timing belts on here real quick. Or the timing cover, anyway. Ah, uh, Sam. Um, also, there's a uh, poll that I put up there at the beginning of the video. If you uh, could check it out, I'm thinking about starting a second channel because of, uh, I want to do some combat games. You know, things that are uh, games that don't really have to build anything. Nothing really about cars or anything like that. Uh, anytime that I try to do something along the lines, no, we're not going to put that on just yet. That's going to cause a problem. Um, anytime I try to do a combat game for some reason, YouTube decides they want to block it because they have their algorithm in place to where if you get most of your views off of a certain kind of video, they consider your channel to be that kind of channel. So if you do anything outside of that, then what happens is they kind of like, I don't know if block is the right term, but they certainly don't put it out to all the, all the subscribers that you have. Hence the reason why my Destiny 2 video, PC Gameplay, had just cracked over a thousand views. I put that out on Tuesday. So less than 1% of my subscribers viewed it. And then you find out that they actually don't push it out to all your subscribers because it's not that kind of a video that they subscribed to you for. And I was like, well, that's kind of stupid. So. I want to do things like Destiny 2, but if it's going to be something where it's only going to get pushed out to a certain amount of subscribers, then I might as well just have those subscribers pop on over to a channel that's built just strictly only in, one and only for those uh, those kinds of videos. So let me know if you'd like to see a Diesel Combat channel, and if you would sub, I think it would be a good time. Alright, so this is kind of annoying, with that bah in the way, but we've already placed that into the ride, into our whip. on here. Boom. Alright. Out of the way of the bar there. And then once I put this together, I'll start opening it up so I'll, I'll explode it out and uh, show you just the, the detail that went into making it because he's got like, uh, they're not real nitrous oxide. But uh, it's got like little NOS canisters in the back and uh, certain kinds of uh, shock absorbers that are put in the back there that aren't real, but aesthetically they're fantastic looking and they're gorgeous. So we got to take a look. And then we'll take it over to the abandoned airport and see just how fast this John goes, which I'm sure it'll be super duper fast and it's going to be super exciting and we're going to be awesome with it. You know, it's going to be awesome. Pop it in. Almost done. Good stuff. Now this is how I had it before and it kind of gave me a little buggy issue there. But now we're pretty. Take off the engine. Let's put that engine back on. Thank you Microsoft for telling me that. Alright.
Okay, so now we'll take it off here. Pop the engine in. Let's unmount. First unmount front. Uh, okay. Well, the thing that uh, I was like, I already have that installed. Okay. Let's lift you up, Buttercup. So we gotta take this out. Just that one piece. All right. It does look weird because it looks like it's free floating. I get it. Okay. Engine in. Let's lift it up. You heard me. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll install the rest of the pieces. Fun differential. Very good. Gearbox. All straight. Starter V8. We have our transfer case for the W12. Then we also have another drive shaft C. C. C, senor. It's fancy. And then the drive shaft, and we're all good. Yes, I know. I'm aware that the exhaust doesn't come out the way that it looks. It looks kind of silly. But we'll be fine. It's all going to work out in the end. I promise you. All right. So we'll drop you down. Let's put you back. And let's go out. Let's enter in at this. Like this. Because a radiator. Successful from the engine bay. Yeah, I'm aware. There, big guy. Okay. Okay. So we got to grab it. There we go. So there's two radiators. Oh, okay. Radiator A. Radiator A. Lovely. And our fans. Oh, okay. They ain't got no fans. I have no fans. I've got no fans at all. I guess I need the fan too. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Jeez. It's like a whole production. And lastly, all the way in the back. Got batteries. Can you see them? Let's hop them back here. There's two batteries, and you gotta pop them in there. All the way in the bo 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 boat. Okay, let's hop back all the way up here. And let's put some oil. And then we'll start putting together the pieces so you can see what this bad boy is eventually going to look like. First, we gotta repair the rust. So let's get rid of the rust. Boom. And. Boom. Nath. Nath, you're pretty nice, guys. Yes. Yes. Alright. Coming together now. Come together. Right now. Over me. Let's go ahead and put the tires on there. The tires I've mount I've taken off and I've also had to take these off of the Vulcan as well because the width of it is 345, 30, 19. Usually the width only goes up to about to, uh, 325 up to uh, the uh, 19 inch rims. 19, 20 inch rims, I think the, uh, the max is 325. Well, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, uh, I'll show you. So for our, this is these are slicks. So for slicks, 19 inch, max 325, profile 30. So these are 345. Got to yank these tires off as well. Rims you don't have to, just the tires themselves. So I've already put those off there. Gotta put them Jones right in there. Oh, you look so nice. Oh, you're gonna, you're 
Yeah, that looks so nice. And all of them are 345, 30, 19, 19, so I don't have to worry about uh, screwing something up. Alrighty, let's put you on here. Boom. And around we go. Good stuff. Alrighty. Now, let's go we'll hop into the interior here. Well, we got everything out. Front right seat. Leather D. Gotta get them leather. Soft leather. And our steering wheel. That's what I've selected. And that is what shall be done. Alright. Now the fun part. Let's go ahead and put the front end in here. Nice. Put the front bumper on here. Even prettier. Can't forget the right headlights. So pretty looking. Left headlights. Let's put on the door. Window and right side mirror. Let's put on the front window here. Let's put on the hood. It's looking pretty. Windshield, the windshield, window, rear bumper. These lights are pretty dope. Look like little pegboards. And can't forget the wing. That they put as a fender, trunk, trunk window. Boom. She's all together, man. Can't get the, I can't close you though. Oh wait, yeah, I can. Hold on. There we go. Oh, so badass looking. Not yet though. Uh, the carbon fiber is all. Like, there's a lot of carbon fiber on here. <laughs> so everything in the front is just going to stay carbon uh, carbon fiber, including the roof and some other things. Oh, yep, the front bumper. So let's go check it out. Let's go paint it up. Now, I've always wanted to have an Aston Martin, uh, the Vantage, like a newer Vantage. Um, I messed around with it in Forza Horizons uh, 3. And I just, I don't know what it is, but I've always wanted just a white Aston Martin. Let's make it pearlescent, make it shine. No libraries involved in it. That's fine. Let's paint the car. Look how pretty you are. Oh my god, you're still pretty. Let's move you out of here. Let's put you over into the secondary area here. Look at you, baby. Oh. So much carbon fiber. <laughs> oh, but it's too badass, though. This is nice. Alright. What do you say we go unleash the beast? Hopefully I didn't forget, like, a bolt or something like that. Because that's probably going to bum me out. Oh, I did it. Yay. Yay, everybody. Yay. All right. Let's drop it in here. Come on. You know you, you, know you want to load. You know you want to load. Yes. Yes. So where do we sit inside here? It's not too bad. Good lord. Watch out. Woo! <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can hop through the warehouse here. Doing a smooth 250 kilometers an hour.
Let's see if we can get a top speed here going. I'll see what, how fast we can hit up there. Let's see how fast we can hit up there, man. Come on. Alright, alright. Ready, set, and... How fast can we go? Is it going to top it out? Oh, it's still going. It's still going. Oh, 350. I think it topped out around 350 kilometers an hour. Oh, it's so fast. It's so badass. It goes too quick. It's too fast for even us to explain. Oh, it's so beautiful. Bob, quite the model indeed. Uh, now, I'm not sure if his uh, download is in the Steam Workshop or uh, or not. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll talk to him about it if he's going to be doing a, uh, a release for it. Uh, as of right now, I'm not sure if he has it up on the Steam Workshop. But if he does have it up on the Steam Workshop, I will put it up on the Workshop as a link in the description down below. But if it's not on there, I got nothing for you. They got to talk to Bob. I'll talk to Bob for you. If you want. This fly. Fly, Aston Martin. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> but folks, that's going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead and hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Uh, good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Next time. Oh, what, oh let's, go through the, let's go through the crates. So crates. Oh, this is a... Not a place for a speedster. Maybe we gotta get our drifter, get our drifter tactics on here, man. Oh, ow.